Hey folks, this is Trasknari. I woke up this morning to a bunch of people yelling at me about what I didn't do in the Stanley Parable. That's because I'm an idiot. <sighs> is this the end of the line? I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you. La 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 la. Art aspect in this map was created with you in mind, but hey, you're a creative kid. I bet you can come up with a story about this place and why you're in it. And while you're doing See, that, I'm stupid, you and that's because when I turned around, I thought that was a rock. This is because I haven't played uh, Half Life Two in way too long. Also, it's SV cheats one, the then no quip. When you decide you can't live in this futuristic science fiction dystopia, anyway, I think I'm supposed to go through here. Gonna... Wait, hold on. What are you? What are you doing? Let's continue this ending. Once I can figure out where I am. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. Aha. Goodbye, narrator. I'm going to space. Light speed to Endor. Uh this is all still blind, by the way. I just listened to your comments about that told me about the stuff I need to still do. The narrator? Narrator, I'm sorry. Can we still be friends? Or are you actually going to let me LP this now without making funny comments over me? The narrator. Narrator? Narrator? Narrator. Hmm. Mildly confused by this. Stanley continued walking and looked for the narrator that had abandoned him. It's sad, I know, but all stories must come to an end. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination, and I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I hadn't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. And for now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. I own you, bitch. Okay. Alrighty. Now then, there were two other things you guys told me to do. And again, this is all still blind, I'm just doing what you guys said in the comments. Uh, one of the things that I was instructed to do is lag up there. Um... Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. And constantly needed I heard that, Curtis. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Let's see. This, is, this will probably be the fastest one. Open, this was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned I know for a fact that going through this door will take me out there, which, the right as we just saw from uh, our previous venture up here, this hallway leads straight back the correct way. So what I'm going to do Stanley was so bad at is just stand here and let him yell at me for a while. He wasn't five years ago. Well, up yours too, Maybe pal. This is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. Whee! And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, your story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Yeah, so think when about he came that. To the elevator and the doors opened, 
he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. Oh, Stanley. <sighs> you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bow, bow? give me a chance, and just let me tell the story I want to tell. tell. Now, here's the one people are telling me to do. Once I can get through this hallway. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. Red door. Good, good. Now, if you don't mind, there's something I'd like to show you. But to do that, I think it would be best for us to start from the beginning. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, I think I made him mad. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I swear to God, if you say nor deadly neurotoxin, good so morning. There was not much of himself to give. Press B and on your keyboard. keyboard. Stanley's job felt less and less like his every day. But if buttons need pushing one day, it means they'll need pushing the next, and then the next. So, without question or judgment, Stanley continued to do what the screen told him. Obey screen. One keystroke flowed into another keystroke, flowed into his ride home, flowed into dinner, flowed into waking up, flowed into going to work, and here he was again. Stanley was typing, typing out a complete sentence that said absolutely nothing at all. Sounds like my last English paper. If in reality no one ever actually disappeared Please go home to your office, family. and Stanley never got the opportunity to make a decision to choose which path he wanted to take, Please eat would dinner. his life still have any meaning? You won't let me go. I don't know how work door. Something deeply enough, these hopes and fantasies become so strong in our minds that we truly believe that we're there, controlling that person and living that adventure. To manipulate your own thoughts and emotions might mean freedom from a self-imposed prison. But these delusions can be fatal to those who can't tell the difference. And so, Stanley asked, if that door never opened, if I'll never be able to walk away from those people and from the buttons, is this life still worth experiencing? Am I actually happy? Stanley answered this question Freedom is slavery? Button. Then he pushed a button, and then he pushed a button. Then he pushed a button. Then he pushed a button. Okay. Well, that happened. Now there's one more thing I've been told to go do. And after that, I will go ahead and go into, uh... Stanley decided to go to off the camera and see if there's any footage from the other endings, but really, I think I'm trying to just show you guys a few of the endings. I don't want to show you everything. If you really want to experience all the endings and think there's something I missed, get the game and play it for yourself. All you need is the uh, Source SDK. This is the kind of game that's really best played for yourself, as you just saw. It's very much Bioshock in that regard. Although I really wish I could shoot lightning out of my fist in this game. Stanley entered the lounge. He was horrified to find not a single drink person. all the rads. He decided he would walk up to see his boss, hoping that he would find an answer there. What the hell is this shit? His office is nicer than mine. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Proceed with the story as planned. Entering his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover, yet incredibly, a button. Yes, I do key. remember that since the last Stanley time. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. As he drew deeper into the bowels of the building, 
Stanley had no idea where he was or what this place held. And just Silent as he to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find rows and rows of monitors. Screens with a number above it. I like this Stanley one. Stanley noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building, his co-workers. Even his own number, 427, oh. had a place on the Yeah, board. over there somewhere. But why a setup so elaborate, he asked. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? And as if in answer to his question, the wall slid open before him. The secret of Microsoft. The ultimate truth of the situation. Oh, I can't climb up yet. An enormous control panel, Stanley discovered. Not one that controlled simple Buttons were labeled with emotions. The secret plan Endless of Dr. Breen. controlled actions. Walking, eating, doing work, or watching teach me. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason employee number, number 427 was content with his broken job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept it blindly? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead, still providing some small amount of power to the machine. I'm gonna go become an evil emperor. And knowing that this generator was all that kept the control running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb. Man, I want my own army of happy little slaves. They'll dance and sing, and then they'll never leave me. And I'll name them all after characters from Lord of the Rings, or just J.R.R. Tolkien in general. And they'll love me, and I'll never leave me. Engage generator. Oh, Stanley. Yes. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Unlimited power. After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control. Unlimited power. Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort. I must do. Out but my you legs. Need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. I can't hear you over the sound of unlimited you power. To let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two minutes. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? He's lying. Go ahead. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Did you really ever believe you helped? Did you not think I knew what I was doing? When I erased your co-workers and turned off the machine, I was offering you freedom. An escape. I didn't have to do that. I've run this story many times, and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there, day after day after day, doing your job forever, and then dying alone. But when I actually give you the freedom to control your own actions, control everyone else. Enough. I let you go, and you trapped yourself just the same. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility, I'm afraid. But you know what you were made for? Pushing buttons. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> you get it now? Now I'm enjoying it. Tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. I want to play a game, Stanley. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. Hmm. After all, it should make sense, right? The 
timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Hmm. I'm gonna save in case I'm doing something stupid. Except for one thing there, hero. You've got no weapon, no vehicle. You don't even know where you're going. No traditional weapon didn't start no Gor stop Gordon Freeman. You just instinctively started trying to find an exit, didn't you? Hey. In fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, trying to open doors or vents or something and solve the puzzle. As though this game has a solution. As though it could be won. See, to be that fair, I didn't look for an excuse. I just pushed off the buttons. Things moving long. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. It's the moment when the hero realizes that despite his best efforts, he is powerless to his environment. And then... I can't he hear you, go. determinism. He surrenders. And he dies. Nope. 30 seconds, Stanley. 30 seconds. Until a boom. And then nothing. No ending to this story, just you die. I suppose you could have gotten an actual ending if you played no. along, but that just wouldn't have been your style, would it? No. Instead, you'll perish knowing that the only choice you made here was to turn on that machine and to start this timer. But you won't be alone, because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here to watch every second of your inevitable life from the time we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever after. Oh, I thought he was bluffing. Okay. Oh. Oh, you monster. Oh, you deleted my save. Oh, that was mean. That was mean. Okay. Well, I think that's about enough of the Stanley Parable. Uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, recording right now and search around for a little bit more. I'd like to test one last thing out, and if it works, I will re uh, restart recording. Uh, if not, I will, uh, I will, uh, see you guys later. I do recommend you all download this game for yourself, and if you think there's something else that I should have done, please, do it. That's the whole point of a game, and, uh, this is, again, something you should really experience for yourself. I'm Trostenari, I'll see you guys later.